battle through the snow tomorrow morning to make sure he gets to his Britain's Got Talent audition in London. It's 19-year-old Sam Obigbesson who lost his sight when he was just 12. And he's hoping, once he's dusted off his snow boots, to impress the judges to make it onto the TV show's next series. I caught, caught up with Sam, who was in rehearsals this morning, but first I spoke to his proud music teacher, Lucy Braybold. He's done absolutely amazing. He's just recently finished his GCSEs, GCSE music, um, which he got a B in that, and now well, hopefully he'll be working towards his A-level next year. Uh, we've had a, for quite a few people offer to, to take us up, and um, so I think we're OK. Uh, we've, somebody volunteered to um, take us up to London tomorrow morning for 9 o'clock, so we're going to leave at 5 tomorrow morning just to make sure we get there. So whereabouts is the Britain's Got Talent audition? It's in the Excel Centre in London, Docklands. As his music teacher, and not being biased as much as you, you like Sam too, what would you describe his voice as and, and how do you think it rates? And how, in terms of Britain's Got Talent, do you think he'll do? I think he's got a unique voice. Um, uh, with a fantastic range, he knows many songs. Um, and I think he's, without being biased, as you said, I think he'll do really, really well. Well, 19-year-old Sam Obigbesson is with us. Uh, Sam, how excited are you about Britain's Got Talent in your audition? I would say very excited because it's not something that, I, you know, I've done before and I'm looking forward to it. How long have you been singing? Since I was nine, I would say. So 10 years' worth of singing and in that time, what kind of styles have you looked at? Uh, what, what do you enjoy most? Um, I think really what I like and that... It's quite a wide range. You could say I like some rock songs, I like <laughs> pop songs, I can even, well, I haven't sung classical yet. <laughs> Usually it's just mostly what I like, really. Now, you've been blind since the age of 12? Yes, but my sight at the age of 12 just went like that. And I was, they told me that I had some sort of scarring, um, which they didn't explain too much. But, yeah, that's just it, it just went. How difficult is it then to be able to perform and sing if you have a visual impairment? Do you have to compensate in lots of ways? Um, well, the only thing really is either just to... Um, the actual performance doesn't really make too much difference. Just grab a microphone and sing. You know, it's not the matter of seeing who is in front of you as much. It's just feeling the song. I wonder if we would be able to warm us all up a bit with just a little bit of an a cappella for us. <laughs> I like a cappella. Yeah, go for it. Just sing us a little line of something you're learning for maybe the audition. When you don't know me, you better felt it. I tried to be chill for you, so hard that I melted. I fell right through the crust. And I'm trying to get back. Before the cool run out, I'll be giving it my best. Cause so nothing's trying to stop me from finding intervention. I reckon it's again my turn. Doing some alone time I won't hesitate No more, no more You cannot wait I'm yours Good luck to Sam. I know everyone at Dalton House near Seven Oaks are rooting for you and we'll catch up with Sam on our breakfast programme here on BBC Radio Kent on Monday.